uh, uh, NSA. User data. You have 1.1 million users, a uh, billion. Uh, you have more data than any entity in the world. Uh, and it's all of our data, and we care a lot about it, and we don't want people necessarily getting it and then using it to do bad things. Um, we know what Facebook has done in the, over the last several months to try to help increase transparency. We, we see the, we've seen the lawsuit. We've seen those efforts. And I don't need you to repeat them, although I'm happy to talk, talk about that if you want. What I want to know is what Mark Zuckerberg thinks about these issues and, and, and our right to privacy versus the government. Yeah, so, I mean, we take our role really seriously. I think it's my job and, and our job to protect everyone who uses Facebook and all the information that they share with us. It's, it's our government's job to protect all of us and also to protect our freedoms and protect the economy, right, and, and companies. And, um, and I think that they did a bad job of balancing those things here, right? Um, you know, so frankly, I, I, I think that the, the government blew it, right? I think that they blew it on communicating um, what they were, basically the balance of what they were going for uh, here with this. So, um, you know, we, the morning after this started breaking, there were like a bunch of people asked them what they thought. It would, would, like, and the, the government's comment was, oh, don't worry, basically we're not spying on any Americans. Right, and it was like, oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's like, that's really helpful to companies who are trying to serve people around the world and they're really gonna inspire <laughs> confidence in American internet companies. It's like, thanks for, for going out there and being really clear about what you're doing. Um, so I, I think that that was, really bad, right? And we've been pushing just to get more transparency on this, and, um, and I actually think we've made a big difference, right? I mean, we haven't, the, the big question you'd, you, that you'd get from all the coverage is, you know, so what's the volume of the total number of requests that are going on? Is it, is it closer to 1,000 requests that the, that the government is making of us, or is it closer to 100 million, right? And I mean, from the coverage and from what the government has said, you would not know the difference, right? But um, we worked really hard uh, with the government um, behind the scenes to get it to the point where we could release the aggregate number of requests. And it's, you know, it was around 9,000 in, um, in the last half a year. And you know, is, does that number tell us everything that we want? No. And you know, that's why when, when the conversations kind of got to the point where we weren't going to um, make further progress, we, we decided to sue them so we could reveal, you know, is it 1,000 or 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 or 8,000 of the 9,000 requests? But the reality is because of the, the transparency that, that we pushed for, you know, now people can know, and I think they deserve to know, that the number of, of requests that the government is making is closer to 1,000, right? It's, it's 9,000 or less in the last six months, and definitely not, you know, 10 million or 100 million it's or It's not a dragnet with regard to grabbing data yeah. from you directly. So, you know, I mean, we're, we're not at the end of this. I, um, I, I wish that the government would be kind of more proactive about communicating. Um, we, we aren't psyched that we had to sue um, in order to get this, but we, we feel like people deserve to know this, and we just take this 